All right. Flip it. Perfect. What's up, Lexi? What is up? This real quick. Ah, Put that in there. Submit. Perfect. Submit. Oh, everyone's hopping in. Clicking so many people. All right. Lexi, what's going on today? How are you doing? Ah, not much. Not much. Not much is ever going on with you, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Not that orange is normal day. Well, oh, there's Sierra. Gotcha, gotcha. And Mariel. <sighs> Bryce. Israel. All right. What's up, Jake? What's up, everybody? Join in by us right now. Jake, how are you doing today, sir? Pretty good. Pretty good. Awesome. Awesome. I know I didn't catch you the past couple classes because you've been busy. Welcome back. That one, I got a new bike. Second thing, we finally did that mo we finally did that shrine thing. You said the same on video. Yep. Mm -hmm. The thing that I'm confused, like the thing that I had problems with was the kick mostly. The final kick. Uh, I couldn't I could remember the name. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. The gotcha, back gotcha. kick thing. Yeah, the spinning back kick. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. I got I you. Think I, mean, I think it's pretty good though. A little bit. So that raise it up. Aha. Looks a lot better. I think a little bit better. Should grow that light so it's not so bright. Yeah. It's the best spot. All right. Well, uh, I'm glad you're here now. Uh, I hope you're doing well and all the rest. Uh, I see Israel chilling with his Minecraft uh, diamond pickaxe. What's up? What's up, Israel? How you doing today, sir? How you doing today, sir? How are you doing? How am I doing? I'm doing good. I'm having a good day. Just teaching classes. Pretty normal day. It was really cold this morning. Yesterday morning was kind of cold, but then I like heated up. It's been weird because like in the morning time, I wear like a jacket, like a hoodie. And by the time it's lunchtime, I'm like taking the jacket or hoodie off. I'm looking for my short sleeve shirt because it's so hot outside. It's kind of crazy. Have you been outside much lately? Or you just been chilling inside. Uh. I've just both, both. Today, I chilled inside. I gotcha. Sometimes it's cool to have just a relaxing little lazy day, watch some movies, do some schoolwork, have a good time. Now I'm going to go over here to, oh, I'm curious. What's going on, Mr. Rice Billingsley? What's been up, dude? Nothing. Nothing. Not one thing. Zero things. That's oh, one last one. School, how's school going for you? Are you doing the online work or you have like a path that you're working on? Uh, online work. Online work. Gotcha. Are you going through uh, jujitsu withdrawals? I know you love to roll. We haven't rolled in so long. What? <laughs> Never mind. Are you missing rolling live? I know you like to roll live a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. I understand. Well, hopefully things go back to normal soon and we can start rolling live. Don't want to jinx anything, knock on wood, but I definitely feel that way. I'm missing rolling live. Mariella, what are you doing? Oh, I can't hear you. What's going on? I thought I unmuted you. I unmuted you on my side. Maybe it's on your side. Is your microphone plugged in? Are you, are you connected to audio or whatever the Zoom thing asks you to do? One sec. Technical issue. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. What's up? School. School. Yeah, I guess that's, that's that's to be expected. I keep asking everyone what's going on. They're telling me the same thing. Nothing. School. Not much. Hanging out. Everyone's getting a little bored. A little too too boring. A little too plain. You know what you guys need to do? 
You guys are going to start setting your house on fire. No, don't do that. That's a terrible idea. That's not, that's not a good way to, to – you guys can find ways to entertain yourself. When I was a kid, I didn't have any electricity at all. I played with straw dolls for 12 hours. Just kidding. I didn't do that either. But there's plenty of ways to stay uh, kind of engaged and active. Uh, Josh, Josh, I know that you normally do the homeschool thing, so this probably isn't too different for you. Uh, you said you read, you play video games. How, what have you been doing lately to pass the time? What have you been working on? Anything? Playing any games, reading any books, working on any stuff? I've been – I have been doing, I have been playing video games, but I've been working on schoolwork and working. My mom wants me to work on a book, on making a book. On making a book, like writing a book? Yeah. What type of book? Uh, I've made two books, they're children books. Oh, okay. My mom wanted me to make the third one before the month is over with. I gotcha. That is, that is super duper cool. Um, I know someone who has written a children's book and gotten it published. I have a friend. He um, lives in Texas and his sister. Uh, so kind of a complicated way to explain it. My friend's sister, her son has a YouTube channel. They started when he was a baby. And the whole idea behind their YouTube channel, it was him playing with toys. At the end of the video, they say if you like the toy or if you didn't like the toy. And the YouTube channel got really popular. And then they wrote a kid's book where he played with like, um, what is it called? It some kind of like construction toy, like a tractor or something. And it got published as actual kid's book. You can buy it like Barnes and Nobles and stuff. It was pretty cool. I see, I saw you hand, have your hand up for a second. Let me get you unmuted and talk to you real quick. Sierra, what's going on in Sierra's world? Oh. Uh well, I built a barn. And you built the barn. We built, we family built a barn and we painted it. That's what I'm talking about. That's one way to stay busy. How long did that take? Oh, uh, about over half a month or so. Okay, yeah, it's a pretty long process. And uh, you said your family did it. How much did you help? Did you watch? Did you help at all? What'd you do? I helped some. Get help some. Yeah. I helped pick the paint out and paint the barn. Two oh, sides okay. of the barn. Did you guys so paint it red, like the classic kind of barn red, or what would what, you guys a, paint it? A crimson red. Crimson red. Gotcha. I wonder, I'd be interesting to, to know why they painted barns red. Does anyone happen to know that by chance? I don't. I think that would be a cool historical fact to learn. Why not paint barns green? Why make them camouflage? Paint them purple. Who knows? That'd I think be, it was... I think it was to let the other people know it was their property or something. Mm. Or it was a barn house for just animals. Oh. oh, that could, maybe that would be it. Maybe like you could have like a color coded barn and like red barns were for like chickens or blue barns would be like for cows or something. Not that that's true, but maybe the color has something to do with what's inside of it. Lexi, I think look something up. Lexi, I'm going to unmute you. Can you help the class? What does that say? <laughs> Okay, so why are so many barns painted red? So apparently it was because they're like the um, rust was plentiful on on farms. So mm -hmm. um, they basically just started doing it out of tradition after that. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So the barns were just rust over, and that's why they did it. So so rust was plentiful on farms and because it killed fungi and mosses that might grow on barns, it was uh, very effective as a sealant. Ah. It turned the mixture red in color. And then when paint become more, became more available, many people started choosing red in tradition. That is super interesting. See, I thought that there's some, there's gotta be some kind of practicality to it. And the fact that rust kills, uh, like you said, different things that might grow, they might not want in your barn. I think that definitely makes sense. How are we doing on time? It is 6.30 exactly. Perfect. My spidey senses were tingling. Well, I saw a couple more students come in. Welcome Ronan, Dorian, uh, Corey. Sorry, we weren't able to chat before class a little bit, but I'll definitely talk to you guys after if you want. Before we start, I got Israel with a hand up. Israel, before we start class, what is your question, sir? On the topic of barns, 
One time I was watching this YouTube video and they were playing one of those big towers that way, but it fell on the barn. And wow. crushed like half the barn. I saw so many things. I'm not sure if you guys have seen the news lately, but that storm that came through, a couple of tornadoes here and there, and there was like houses that got moved to like the road and trees that's like fell on cars and stuff. It was crazy. But luckily, none of that happened near here, I don't think. It was kind of up a little north ways. So we're going to start with class today, everybody. So uh, all you need today is just your pad or your pillow. You know, don't need any special equipment at all. Our word today is strength, so it's going to be a lot of different muscle motions and that kind of stuff. Everyone going to pop up. We're going to start with class. What's up, Tucker? I know with your setup, you don't have the camera and stuff, but thank you for tuning in and follow along with us. I'll, I can't see you, but I know you're doing a good job. So randomly throughout the class, I'm just going to yell, good job, Tucker, for no reason. How about that? Uh, I want you to be part of the part of the crew here. All right, and Tristan's joining in. All right, let's get ready. Let's go start. Get started. And attention. Yes, sir. Black belt Cree. Ready. Set. Begin. As a dedicated student of martial arts, I shall live by the principles of the Black belt Cree. Courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self-control, and the indomitable spirit. See. Oh. Awesome job. We're going to start our warm-up today. We're going to knock out 10 jumping jacks. 10 jumping jacks. Ready, set, begin. One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. Six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. Ten, sir. Awesome job. Hands to the lapel. Feet wide. 10 body squats. Ready, one. One, sir. Two. Two, sir. Three. Three, sir. Nice, Sierra. Four. Four, sir. Five. Five, sir. Good job, Mariela. Six. Six, sir. Seven. Seven, sir. Eight. Eight, sir. Nine. Nine, sir. Ten. Ten, sir. Awesome job. Next, we're going to go down to our push-up position. Push-up position. Okie dokie. Nine. Nothing special today, just normal push-ups, normal push-ups. 10, ready? And one, one, sir. Two, two, sir. Three, three, sir. Four, four, sir. Five, five, sir. Six, six, sir. Seven, seven, sir. Eight, eight, sir. Nine, nine, sir. 10, 10, sir. Awesome job. Next thing we're gonna do, everyone snuggle back belt really quick. Next, we're gonna do something a little different today other than working our ab muscles through sit-ups. We're gonna do a little bit of a different exercise. We're gonna do a kind of a leg raise, but we're gonna do what's gonna call one to 10. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna lay on my back. If you're on a hard surface, if you want some extra cushion, you could put your pad underneath you or you could raise your feet. If you're using a pillow, you can use it. If you're using a pad pad, it's really thick. I probably wouldn't use it. All right, so my hands underneath my bottom, making it a little more comfortable if you need it. My feet, oh, I froze for a second. I'll wait for myself to unfreeze. Do, 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 do. There it goes. All right, so my feet are straight out in front of me. All right, on my screen, I was frozen. What's up? I see you, Jake. <laughs> okay, so my feet are out straight. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna draw in the air the numbers one through 10. So when I say one, we're gonna draw one. When I say two, we're gonna draw a two. Whole thing is in between the numbers, I'm not gonna let my feet relax on the ground. Keep my feet up the whole time. Feet up the whole time, all right? We're gonna go one to 10. Even between numbers, we're not putting our feet down. All right, so everyone get ready, laying down. Feet out in front, hands under your bottom. And legs up. Ready? One. Draw number one. Two. Draw number two. Three. Number three. Four. Draw four. Good job. Keep those feet up. Five. Draw number five. Six. Draw six. Can you imagine if someone just walked in right now and had no idea what you're doing? Ready, seven. Draw seven. 
eight, nine, and 10. If you didn't finish, go ahead and catch up. Once you're done, sit like a black belt. Excellent effort. Okay. We're going to go ahead and stand back up now. We're going to now go into some stretching, some stretching. We're going to start with our feet together, just reaching down, trying to touch our toes. Deep breaths. Those out to the mouth. Awesome, man. Feet wide. Everyone reaching down, keep your knees straight to one side. Reaching down, reaching down, reaching down. Welcome, Matthew. Welcome, Sam. Welcome to class. And switch, other side. Down to the middle. Let yourself kind of hang low, relax, make sure your knees stay straight. Deep breath, deep breath. All righty, now we're gonna wiggle our feet a little bit closer together. We're gonna to go down to our Spider-Man position. So we're gonna keep one leg straight. We're gonna bend the other leg, hands on the ground. Good balance here. Nice, good job, Corey. Good, Dorian. Excellent effort, good work. And switch, other side. We're gonna stand back up slowly, move our feet together just a tad, keeping them a little wide. We're gonna do our rotations. So all we're gonna do is rotate our body, not we're throwing a hook punch. Does that be too fast? Does that make sure you slow? Just wherever your normal, comfortable speed is. And rotating back and forth. Just loosening up our back muscles. We're not trying to go super hard and pop anything on purpose. If it happens, it happens. And we're just rotating, rotating. And once you feel comfortable, you can start pivoting on your toes, kind of twisting on your toes. If you're throwing a punch, you turn them maybe a little bit further into the stretch. But we're still not going super fast. Or anything like that. All right. And time. We're going to go ahead, grab our first water break. When we come back, we're going to start our drills and talk about our work for today. Water break. One, two, three. All right. After your water break, you can come back and have a seat like a black belt. All right, so most of us are already back. We're in the last couple. Everyone's having an awesome day today. Our word is strength. So we have a lot of different words that we talk about, or eight <laughs> different words to talk about. It's kind of a lot. By far, I think strength is one of the simplest ones to explain. It can be mental strength, it can be physical strength, toughness, there's a lot of synonyms for strength. It's basically just having that resilient 
mindset, not giving up, um, being strong throughout. Um, physical strength is very easy to see. You ever lift a lot of weight. You don't get tired easily. Um, it's very evidence-based. You can see when someone's physically strong. You can see their muscles. You can see that they're fit. You also see someone, someone's not strong um, most of the time. And then it's that, that mental strength. Mental strength is harder to know. You don't know how determined someone is. You can't see how many tough things someone's been through or what they're going through. Um, mental strength is something that no one really naturally has. You have to learn how to be mentally tough through different problems. Everyone has problems in life. Martial artists, teachers, doctors, policemen, okay? All types of people have problems. But black belts, they always try to be problem solvers. They always try to work through, push, 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 have that mental strength not to give up and then that problem overtake them. Yes, sir? And I think right now is a great time to talk about that because the world has a problem. What problem does the world have right now going on? Jake raised his hand super fast. Jake, what's going on in the world right now? Um, the virus. The virus. Da, da, da. Zombies are walking the streets. They're eating people's brains. No, not that virus. Talking about, of course, the coronavirus. I don't want to talk about it too much because you guys have already heard it. But I do want to talk about it really quick as far as what it means for us and as martial artists because this is a problem it's affecting a lot of people. Some people are having to stay at their homes. Some people have other sicknesses and now they're super uh, able, like vulnerable. Some people are losing their jobs or you know, not being able to work. So this problem has a lot of people stumped, a lot of adults stumped. And a lot of adults, you know, they're trying to find problems and solutions to those problems, but other people are using it as an excuse to not do anything. And that's a loser's mindset. That's not the mindset of a black belt. You always want to be trying to adapt and overcome. I've never taught online classes before. All right, this is not normal martial arts things, right? But that's not just because we can't have classes an excuse not to do anything. So what do we do? We find a new way to do what we can to keep pushing on. And we're gonna work on our physical strength today as well as our mental strength. They're very much tied together. So prepare, I hope everyone's get ready to get tired. I hope everyone has some water nearby, all right? First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do something called squat kick challenge. Only by stand up. Pop, 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 pop. All right. Everyone here knows a body squat. I do not think I need to talk about the body squat. But here's how the squat kick burnout challenge goes. You're going to hold on to your lapel. Your feet are going to be wide. And you're going to do one body squat. You're going to bend your knees. Your elbows are going to touch your knees. And you're going to come back up. After you do your body squat, you're going to throw a kick type of kick we're doing is a side kick, all right? So I'm gonna bring my knee up, I'm gonna throw my side kick. Remember, my kick's not gonna come towards the camera because the side kick comes out from our side. So if I was doing this leg, it's gonna come out over here. So I do my squat, I bring my knee up, do my side kick, and I put my foot down. Now I do another squat, and now I do a kick on the other side. Knee up, other side kick. And I'm gonna keep going back and forth. But how many are we doing, Coach Colton? We're going to do 50 in total. That's 25 on each side, 25 on each side. All right, now I can't see there, either Lexi has amazing muscle control or something over there she put her foot on to be able to have her leg in that position for so long. I can't quite see because I'm an old man. All right, any questions on what we're doing? Very good. Now a big part of mental strength, uh, that, that's the physical strength part, I mean, the muscles. So what about mental strength? Mental strength is something I don't know, right? There's 50. We're gonna do this together, right? It's your job to stay strong up here and not give up, not cheat. I can't watch everyone at the same time. Maybe some people are doing good squats and some people don't think I'm looking at them and they're doing these kind of squats. The mental challenge is to make sure that every rep is really good, right? So let's go ahead and start knocking these out. We're gonna do 50 together, changing sides each one, that's 25 on each side. Hands up, pelvic feet wide, ready, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
You get behind, just keep going. 12. I trust you to get all your 50 done. 13. 14. 15. You, get, you need to loosen up. Do a hot couple hops. 16. 17. 18. 19. 20. 21. 22. 23. 24. 25. Halfway there. 26. 27. 28. 29. 30. 31. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 32. Let's go, Jake. Let's go, Bryce. 33. 34. 35. 36. 37. Let's finish fast. 38. 39. 40. 41. 42. 43. 44. 45. Let's go, Matthew. 46. 47. 48. 49. And 50. Relax. Very good. Everyone have a seat. I go back well. All right. Good job. Give yourself two hand claps. Now, next drill we're gonna do is called push up punches. Push up punches. So for this drill, we're gonna do ha ha ha. I saw that face. Push up punches. Here's how it works. We do one normal push up, then we're gonna throw a punch. But we're not standing up in between. So I go to my push position. I do my punch. From here, my hand comes up. Boom, punch. Then my hand comes back down. Then I do another push up, punch with the other hand. We're not going to do 50 of these, so don't worry. We're only going to do 10. Five on each side. Yes, sir? Okay, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. I'm looking for good push ups, no cheating. They're normal push ups. You guys should be beasts. We do close handed push ups. We do one handed push ups, normal push ups. Should be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Everyone, good push up position. Josh is ready. Dorian's ready. Corey's ready. Sarah's ready, ready. And one push up, punch. Good job. Ready, two push up, punch. Three push up, punch. Some four. Push up, punch. Nice, Jake. If you guys have to go a little bit shorter on your push ups, do that instead of falling down. I don't want anyone to fall down. Keep going. Ready, five. Push up, punch. Nice, Matthew. Push up, punch. Six. Push up, punch. Seven. Push up, punch. Nice, Tristan. Push up, punch. Nine. Push up, punch. 10, excellent. Everybody relax, relax, relax. Good job, Sam. Great work, great work. All right, so again, we're dealing with that physical strength and all the rest. Now here's what we're gonna do next. This one's gonna really push our mind. Those two, kind of designed to get your body a little tired, your core a little tired, your legs a little tired, your body a little tired, make this next part tougher, okay? This next part is supposed to be the toughest part today. We're going to go into our plank position, our plank position on our forearms. Kind of go push up, put on our forearms. Let me show you really quick here. So push up, I'm here. Plank, I'm going to be down on my forearms. If you're on a hard surface like me and you want to like grab your pillow or something, you could like lay it here and you could put your forearms on it so you don't like put your forearms. That's not the point of this drill. The goal of this drill is to hold this position and not fall down. So if I turn sideways, you'll see. Once I get push up, I don't want your bottom in the air or us kind of slump down like we're doing the worm. We should have 
our body nice and straight. So I'm not sagging down here, and I'm not gonna have my belt in the air up here, and be holding a neutral position like this. Okay, and this is gonna be both our strike test and our coach's challenge for today. So here's how this is gonna work. Your strike test is to hold your bridge down or into a bad position for 45 seconds. You gotta hold it for 45 seconds. But we're also gonna turn it into a game to where if you can hold it longer than 45 seconds, keep doing it. And we're gonna see who in the class can hold it the longest. Yes, sir? So there can only be one. All right, there can only be one winner today on this. Oh, I froze for a second. Waiting for myself to come back. There it is. All right, cool, 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 cool. I'm unfrozen. Give me a thumbs up if you heard everything I said. Give me a thumbs down if I lagged out. All right, awesome. So hold it for 45 seconds. If you can keep holding it, keep holding it. Whoever can hold it the longest wins. All right, ready. Good bridge position. I'm watching to make sure no one's cheating and entering into a bat. If I call your name uh, and say out, that means you made your bridge position or your, your plank position bad. Ready, set, go. Hold your plank, hold your plank. Nice. Looking round, that looks good, good. Excellent. Okay, I don't know how it's gonna go for Israel on the couch. I'm interested to see how that plays a role. I have a feeling it might get slippery at some point. I'm not sure how that'll affect his long game. 15 seconds in, 30 seconds to go for the strike test. Remember, strength is our black stripe. So if you don't have your black stripe yet, that one's particularly important. 15 seconds left. Anybody? Watch any good movies lately? <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, everyone has passed their stripe test. Let's see if you can keep holding on. Oh, Sierra fell. Sierra out, something like a black belt. Tristan, something like a black belt. Mary Ellis, something like a black belt. Josh, something like a black belt. All right, we're starting to have some people fall out. It's okay. Lexi, be careful. Your bottom is rising a little bit at a time. Yep, make sure we stay low. Ronan's doing excellent over there. Good job, Ronan, keep it up. Okay, nice try, Lexi, it's okay. Good job, Corey, keep going, keep going. You can do it. Good job, Jake. Okay, Sam went ahead and called herself out. Tucker's back. Yeah, I'm gonna look closer to the TV here so I can see, see a little bit better. All right, Matthew's killing it. Corey's got it. Ronan's good. Okay, Israel called himself out on that one. Okay, be careful, Jake. I were adjusting there. Make sure you adjust to a good spot. Okay, I think we're now about mm, just over two minutes. Two about two minutes, fifteen seconds. Great work, we got one, two, three, uh, oh, and then we're down to three. Ronan, Corey, and Matthew. There could only be one. Three heroes walked into the class. Only one will pull the sword from the stone. Who will it be? Will it be Ronan Magnificent Locks Richie? Will it be Matthew? Has a hurt hand, but came back stronger than ever, Mitchum. Oh, will it be Corey, the young, new member of the crew? Wow, they're holding on for a while. I'm about to get ready to call it just so we can do some other stuff because everyone's sitting around. We're going to go 30 more seconds, 30 more seconds. So you guys can all hold it. We'll have a three-way tie, 30 seconds. All right, be careful. Careful, no last minute slip ups. 20 seconds. You guys can do it, I believe in you. 
Uh oh. Well, video cut out there. Hopefully, still there when it comes back in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Everyone relax. Good job. You three made it. Rowan, good job. Matthew, good job. Corey, good job. All right, shake it out if you're a little tight. Very good. Everyone give them two hand claps for sure. One, two. Excellent, excellent, excellent job. All right. So that was our stripe test today. Everyone passed the stripe test. We're to the point now where I think most of you either already have the stripe on your belt or you've already passed the stripe test in the virtual training and you're just waiting to get the stripe when we come back to class. Um, and it's likely that when we do start having classes back, we're gonna have, probably have a belt test and a belt promotion very soon after everything remembers to catch everybody up where they need to be. So make sure that we are tuning in regularly, that we're staying sharp on our moves and all that kind of stuff. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna transition to a bit of a game. All right, we're gonna transition to a bit of a game. So let me see if I can get this set up really quick, slide this thing out. All right, close that. Where is the thing? That's the thing I need. Where's the other thing I need? Uh, done. Because Ty likes the height thing in all the short places, so I can't find it. Meanwhile, I put everything up really super high so that he has a hard time finding it. Okay, so obviously we haven't been able to play the same games we normally play in class, like Tiger Tales and Freeze Tag and Rolling Life, but we're kind of playing a couple of different types of games here. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play two different games today, uh, back to back. We're gonna play two rounds of Hangman, and then we're gonna play three rounds of Line by Line. So Hangman, I think everyone knows, if you don't know the rules of Line by Line, I'll explain it when we get over to it. Raising your hand, does anyone not know the rules for Hangman? Raise your hand if you do not know the rules for Hangman. Okay, so I'll explain it really quick. Uh, there it goes. All right, so rules for hangman. Very, very simple. I have my whiteboard here. I had my marker. I have my marker. Okay, whiteboard here, marker here. For hangman, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a little hangman thing here. When are we going to do orange stripe? Orange stripe. I'll check on that for you. Alexia, I'll let you know before the end of class what day we're doing the orange stripe. Um, orange is the next to last color. So I think we do it the first day of next week because it goes a white, black, orange, purple, if I'm not mistaken. And we're on black right now. So that would mean that we're All right. So have our hangman. Every time we get something wrong or we'll draw a piece, of our stick figure. When I have a whole person here with two arms and two legs, that means the students have lost and Coach Colton has won. Now, what you have to do to win is I'm gonna have a word here and that word is gonna fall into a certain category. So I'm gonna have our first category today be fruit. Fruit, all righty. So, I can see some things popping up in chat really quick. That's hard for me to see the chat. Phone side, some tune chat on over here. Yeah, the cat fell over, so you didn't land on me. That's good. That's good. I don't want you to land on your cat. All right. So this first word is going to be a certain type of fruit. Okay. And the fruit I'm going to pick is you guys are older, so it's going to make it a little tougher. All right, so the fruit I pick has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten letters. All right, so what you have to do is you have to either guess the fruit or guess the letter. And I'm going to go one by one with people I see who have their hands raised. So you can either guess the fruit. If you guess it correctly, your team wins. If you guess the fruit and it's not that fruit, I'm not going to plug in any of the letters of that fruit. So the word I picked could still have letters that are in the fruits down here. So don't get confused on that. Looking over, I see Sam with her hand up. So let me unmute you, Sam. Sam, do you know the fruit or do grapefruit. you have a guess of the letter? Grapefruit. It is not grapefruit. Nice try. Grapefruit was a good guess, but it's not grapefruit. And that will earn your team the first. 
It's very daring to guess the, the letter, the word without guessing any letters first. It takes a lot of confidence to do that. All right, next up, I see Mary Ella with her hands. Mary Ella, do you have a guess of the fruit or of the letter? Is there a C? There is a C. C is the first letter. I think that might write down quite a bit. Okay, next up, we're gonna go over to Josh. Josh, do you know the letter for the fruit? Is there an I? I'm sorry, cut out for a second, sir. Can you say that again? Is there an I? It muted me when I came back in. <laughs> so, uh, Josh, I did not hear what you said. Can you say it one more time for me, sir? Is there an I? There is not a letter I. Nice try, though, Mr. Joshua. Now, let's go over to someone I haven't heard from. Let's go to who has their hand up? Let's go to Corey. Corey, do you know the fruit or a letter in the fruit? Is it a cantaloupe? It is cantaloupe, very good. Cantaloupe. All right, the correct fruit was indeed cantaloupe. Round one, you guys won. Very easily, I'm thinking that first letter was very clutch for you guys to help you guys defeat me. But the second round will not be that easy. I've got an extra, extra thing in my back pocket. Let's see. Hmm. What can we do here? I'll pick. This is going to be. Who should it be? Uh, uh, okay, this is going to be a cartoon character. All right. This character has two words. The first word has four letters. The second word also has four letters. This could be the easiest one ever, or it could be the hardest one ever, depending on what letters you guess. Any guesses? Cartoon characters, two words, four letters a piece. If you don't know the character, you can always guess the letter. I got a hand from Sierra. Let's head over there. Sierra, do you have a guess of the name or a letter? Is there a A? There is no letter A. I'm sorry. I should probably do capital. There's no letter A. I'm sorry. Nice guess. Smart attacking the vowels, but I'm not sure if they'll help you here. Let's go over to someone different. Uh, I think I see Dorian with his hand raised. Going over there to Mr. Dorian. Dorian Hunter, what is this? What is the word? What is the letter? F. There is no letter F. Nice try, sir. Good try, but no letter F. Alrighty, over to Bryce Billingsley. Bryce, name is that E. Is there an E? There is no letter E. I'm sorry. Nice try, sir. All right, over to Tristan. I haven't heard from Tristan yet. Tristan. Is there an S? There is no letter S. Oh, buddy, I think I'm gonna win this round. Uh, Lexi has her hand up. Lexi, what is your letter? 
I, I'm trying to choose a vowel that has not already been spoken. I'm just going to go with O. Oh, uh, you picked the one letter I did not want you to pick. <laughs> because, Lexi, <laughs> there are four O's. <laughs> there are four letter O's. Okay. <laughs> so I did not want you to pick letter O because that's probably the best letter to pick. Let's see. We're going to go to Corey now. Corey, do you know the character? Do you know the, the letter? Is there an L? There's not a letter L. That means we have one more piece. We got one arm left on our little here before we're out. All right. Go over to Dory. He's the one to his hand up. So let's go over, mute, and then Dorian, unmute. Dorian. Do you know the character or do you know the letter? Is there a J? There is a J. I think you know who it is now, maybe. Dorian, can you finish the phrase? No. <laughs> we'll go over. I think Lexi knows who it is. Lexi, do you know who it is? Uh, let me, I saw her raising her hand. I'll go over to Sierra and then I'll go over to Mariella. I know Mariella probably knows who it is. Um, See, Arrow, who is this character? Is it Mojo Jojo? Oh, sorry, I missed the J. Yes, Mojo Jojo is correct. Yes. I knew it. My cousin J. watched the time girls all the time. Okay. That might be why Lexi looked confused. I missed the J. I'm sorry. Yes, Mojo Jojo is the correct character. It was from Powerpuff Girls. Good she job. watches it all the time. <laughs> Powerpuff Girls is one of those cartoons that was on when I was younger, but then they recently changed it and then they re put it back on. I think so now it's like kind of semi-popular again it's not super popular but i know that a lot of kids do watch it which leads us into our next game which is line by line this game not as many people played it's because i as far as i'm concerned i invented this game if anyone asks it's my game all right so what i do is i draw a picture i draw one line at a time and if you think you know what it is uh you just get you raise your hand to guess and if they get it wrong uh, and I draw another line, guess, draw uh, another line, guess. You're trying to figure out what I'm drawing in the least amount of lines possible, okay? So you do not want me to draw a lot of lines. The more clues I get, you kind of lose more and more. Um, if I draw a line and no one knows what it is and there's no guess, I just go ahead and draw another line. So here is my first line today. I don't know, how, uh, is this gonna work? Is it gonna flip it? Uh -huh. Okay, cool. My arm is getting a little you know, funky. All right, so. Uh, my first picture, we're going to do this one. This one was kind of a medium toughness one. I did this with my uh, seven to nine year olds and it took them a while. Let's see if my older kids are a bit smarter. Does anyone know what I'm drawing for my first line? Dorian has his hand up. We'll go over and see what he says. Dorian, what do you think it is? A door. Nice guess, but it's not a door. Here's my second line. Okay, any guesses here? Guesses here? We'll go over to Lexi. Lexi, what do you think it is? Um, I'm going, it has to, mm. sorry, um, is it a square? Nope, it's a little more detailed than a square. Here's, that's not just a shape, it's an actual thing like you would find in real life. So it's not any kind of complex shape. I'm looking for an actual thing that I'm drawing. Uh, we'll go over to uh, Bryce. Bryce, what do you think I'm drawing? A window. Not a window. This is my fourth line. Okay. Anything there? Of course, I finished the rectangle, so nothing new. You guys probably knew I was going to draw that line already. Corey, what do you think it is? A house. Not a house. Here's where you might, guys might start getting. We'll see. Okay, here's my first line that tells you some things about it. We're gonna go over to Josh now. Josh. A cube. Not a cube. All right, now we're gonna start getting a little crazy with it. All right, anyone know what it is now? All right, going over, who have I not called on? Let's go over to Mariella. Oh, oops, sorry. Mute. And then Mariella, unmute. Yes. Is it a book? Mm-mm.
Did I draw this right? I think so. I think it'll still work. I need to put this out, line out a little bit longer though. So it's a little bit better to understand. Okay. And then my line here. All right, that's my line. Those are my new lines. Okay, let's go over to Ronan. I have not heard from Ronan at all. Ronan, what is this? Is it a washing machine? Not a washing machine. Well, it looks like one. <laughs> well, it looks like one. All right, I'm not denying it doesn't look like one. Uh, Lexi has her hand up. Let's go over to Lexi. Lexi, what is this? Is it a chair? Not a chair. Because it looks like a chair. All right, let's go over to Israel. Israel, what do you think it is? It's a stone. Not a stone. I said stone. Oh, stove or oven stove. No, I'm sorry, not a stove. Good guess, though. Good guess. I see how you're seeing that kind of stove washing machine thing. All right. Over to Corey. Corey, what do you think it is? It's a washing machine. Not a washing machine. I thought they already guessed that, dude. Okay. Here I go. This is the, I'm trying to get the whole thing in. I might draw it a little too big. This is what it looks like right now. Matthew had, looks like he knows what it is. So I'm gonna go over there and see what, uh, where is he at here? Matthew, 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 there you are. Matthew, what do you think it is? Milk carton. It is a milk carton, good job. You draw this, draw this, little milk carton action. And I've only been to schools that use them for two years. Sorry? I'll never forget what that looks like. <laughs> oh yeah, and you haven't been in a school that's used one of these in a while, yeah? Yeah. I'm okay, so milk carton it is. All right. I, again, as always, I apologize if my art skills are subpar, but I thought it was fairly spot on. All right. So now I'll do another one. That, that took us a while. So let's do an easier one. Let's do an easy one. We're going to knock out class. Okay. This will be our last one today. All right. Here's line number one. All right. That's line number one. I got a guess from Dorian. Going over to Dorian. Dorian, what do you think it is, sir? A window. Not a window. We're gonna go here with my second line. Anyone know what it is? Anyone know? Anyone know? Yeah, Bryce has his hand up. Bryce, what do you think this is? This is the back part of a moving truck. Not the back part of a moving truck. My second line. Okay. Uh, We'll go over to Ronan. Ronan, what do you got? Ronan, what is it, Ronan? Oh, I thought, sorry, I thought it's I unmuted. Cheese. It's not cheese. <laughs> but you're kind of close ish. You have the right idea, kind of. Sam. Is it cake? It is cake. Yay! I draw cake here. Yeah. Some sprinkles, a little, maybe a little candle action going on, maybe a little bit of a plate. All right, it was indeed cake. All right, so thank you guys for enjoying my drawing skills. Uh, quickly, before we end class day, a couple of announcements. Um, firstly, don't forget, we do have those new class times going on. So if you guys want to drop by for class, we have a leadership class now on the days we don't have this class. So that is Tuesdays and Thursdays at 11. We're having some kind of noontime classes. Um, so catch us there for some more awesome time if you can't tune into this one, or if you can't tune into that one either and you get yourself in a bind and you're really bored and you want to do some martial arts, at the end of the week, we're uploading all of these videos to our YouTube. It's not the same as being live because half the video is going to be me saying, good job, John, good job, Sally, good job, Sue. And it's going to be people that were on the class live, <laughs> but you can still follow along with the drills and everything. And it'll still be quite fun. Um, we're still doing our drawings every Friday for the home training kits. And then starting either this weekend or next weekend, we're going to start having some weekend challenges, which are going to be some bonus ways to enter to the raffle and some different things to do uh, on the weekend. We have four challenges every week that you guys can complete for possibly a bonus, a prize or a chance to get some kind of prize. 
Uh, there was one other thing. There was one other thing. Yes, what was it? I cannot remember what it was, but I'm sure there's something. Does anyone have any questions? Uh, I see Sierra with a hand up really quick. Sierra, what's your question, ma'am? Um, could you give my mother a call later on today? Uh, she yeah. has a question. I can definitely give her a call. Yes, ma'am. All right. And Oops, sorry. I accidentally removed you mid-sentence. Sorry about that. Go ahead. Start again what you're saying. And what? And I recently have a pregnant cat, so that's why I didn't want to trip over her. I got gotcha. you. I saw your message. Be careful with your cat. Uh, be careful with that. And Jake, I wish I'd have more some uh, better advice for you, but I'm not uh, familiar with pregnant cats, so I don't have any good advice. Jake, what is up, dude? How's it going? Um, I was, um, I was in thought about having a teen again. I've been, um, I've been doing a lot of stuff lately. And also, I probably could have done the plank, um, I probably could have done plank better, but I hurt my, um, elbow a couple days ago. So I probably could have done the plank better. I got you. It's okay. Uh, things happen, dude. You know, I'm going to try very hard. Uh, everyone made it past the 45 seconds, which so is what you had to do anyways. You still, I think you have longer than that, so. You're above and beyond. Uh, I got three more hands up. We'll go Israel, Matthew, and then Ronan, and then we'll bow out. Israel, what's up? Did you get my video uh, about the kids? Yes, I did. Uh, I, I saw the video. Your parents sent it over. Mm -hmm. Thank Bye. you. Yes, yes, sir. You're welcome. Sorry if I didn't respond to that, by the way. I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. We've been getting so many text messages. I might have goofed on that. Uh, next up was Matthew. Matthew, what's up? Are we going to have a student of the day? We're going to have a student of the day. Yes, last sir, time I was in class, they didn't call anybody for student of the day the last time I was in class. Oh, okay. Well, I'm definitely going to do today. I already know who I'm going to pick. And then over to Ronan. What's up, Ronan? Uh, I didn't, my mom didn't receive a, uh, an email about the, uh, the student of the day that I got. Uh, you, uh, you gave me on uh, Monday. Gotcha. Okay. I'll make sure I send that over, resend that over um, if possible. It might have been a problem. We, so the way it works is when you get your student of the day, I make your certificate, I scan it, and then it's supposed to just automatically go over. But it, I don't send it from my email. It gets sent from the printer. So sometimes the printer is smart. Sometimes the printer is dumb because the printer is my arch nemesis. But I'll, I can make sure I can go back in there and send it from uh, my computer. And because I'm doing it by hand or copy paste the email, it'll work just fine. Sam, lastly, last one before we. Sam, last, last one before uh, we. It was the same thing for Rowan except for my little brother, Dylan Robinson. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Mom's email either. Okay, all right, I can take care of that. My little brother. All right, I got you. Yep, I know him. Short guy, this big. Uh, has a dog, doesn't talk that much. Oh, yeah, don't worry, I've seen him before. I know who he is. All right, let's go ahead, stand up, everyone. We'll go ahead and get ready to bow out. But before we bow out, of course, I have my student of the day. Where am I? I moved down there somehow. All right, so student of the day, a word of strength. So I have to pick a student to earn my student of the day. We had a lot of different things that require strength, our, our squat sidekicks, our push-up punches, our bridge. I had three students that really impressed me on the bridges. Of course, Matthew, Ronan, and Corey ended to the end. I was really impressed with one of them in particular for my student of the day, and that is Mr. Corey Williams. Corey, you are my student of the day. Not only did you do the plank just as long as they did, but you are one of the lowest belts in the class, and you were able to hang for that long. You were doing an amazing job before the break, rolling live, being competitive, have a great attitude. Your push-ups are on point. Keep up the good work, dude. I'm be sending over that email and the other two emails that got missed this evening as well. So, good job, Corey, uh, and congratulations. Other than that, we're going down. Attention. Yes, sir. And ski. Oh, awesome job, everyone. I'll see you guys later. Have an awesome evening. Uh, brush your vegetables, eat your teeth, act good. I'll see you guys next class. Have an amazing night. See you, everybody. All right. Bye-bye.